Today I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 15. Episode 14, we were introduced to a new Watcher character, Wesley, so I'm curious to see if he will be in this episode, if he will be gone completely. Um, we also saw that Faith killed a human and didn't seem terribly concerned about it. She wasn't showing any remorse, so I'm very curious to see if Buffy will be distancing herself from Faith or what that situation is going to be like. The gang was also filling up college applications. Um, so yeah, lots of moving pieces. The mayor and Mr. Trick were back as well. And the mayor is now invincible, which is terrifying. So I'm really enjoying the series and I'm very excited to continue watching and see where the story is going to go. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Oh god, yeah, Faith pushing her under. Yeah, exactly. Her little sheep pajamas, so cute. This breaking news about the murder that has shocked the mayor and residents of Sunnydale. They found the body in the water, yeah, and that's what Buffy's just dreaming about. It's just terrible, isn't it? Is she gonna say anything? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. I, I mean, that's that's not really our jurisdiction, is it? And she knows who did it. The deputy mayor's murder was the result of human malice. Nothing supernatural about it. Except that it was a slayer that killed him. I say it merits investigation. Which I'm sure the police are doing. And we know how thorough they can be. Uh, psych class. Freud and Young, book me. Happily. Wesley has a crush on Cordelia. And you teach psychology. I take psychology. She's a student. Oh, well. <laughs> In fact, I am here to watch girls. That's creepy. That's a creepy way to say that. Well, fresh. He has talked to humans before, right? After patrol, so we'll see ya. One moment, girls. I'm your commander now. Okay, yeah, so he is the watcher for Faith and Buffy. Okay, I was wondering. Faith, what we did was... Yeah, we. You were right there beside me when this whole thing went down. She didn't do it, though. You have to answer for it. You Come on. Too. You're a part of this, B. No! She was trying to help, and now Faith's just turning it around on her, making her feel guilty. Oh my gosh. Hey. I'm meeting Michael, the warlock guy. We're still trying to derat Amy. Right, right, that's still going on. Does Angel know that it was Faith? Um, are they gonna find Faith's blood in that? Oh, he knows that Buffy had blood on her hand, yeah. And if they find Buffy's blood there, she did put her hand on him to stop the bleeding, but are they gonna believe that? Had wooden splinters in his wound. Struck right through the heart. Like a stake. Yes, exactly. That's sunshine and roses to me. It really is. <laughs> and they doesn't say which Slayer, obviously. He just knows that a Slayer was responsible. So is he going to go after Buffy? Is he going to go after Faith? I can see Faith turning on Buffy to save her own butt, so... I think he was looking for us. I'd like to know why. So I think there's some big conspiracy? That's exactly what it is. You were saying... All the folders are empty? Yeah. It doesn't matter what kind of vibe you get off a person, because nine times out of ten, the face they're showing you is not the real one. Is she speaking for herself? You and me in the plus column. We help people. It doesn't mean we can do whatever we want. Why not? Uh, yeah, I think Faith, yeah. I mean, we just saw it. it was mixed up in dirty dealings. Maybe. But you didn't know that at the time. Yeah, exactly. But it does not mean that we get to pass judgment on people like we're better than everybody we else. We are better. And that's how they differ, basically. Right. Better. No, Faith thinks, yeah, she's untouchable. In the balance, nobody's gonna cry over some random bystander who got caught in the crossfire. But they're gonna cry over you? Yeah, exactly. Buffy cares. Buffy. Oh, hello, police officer. This will be the one time Sunnydale police actually do things. Somebody stabbed this guy through the heart. That happens all the time in Sunnydale. Come on. I'm not cool enough for you because I can't kill things with my bare hands. <laughs> oh, no, 
talk to Willow. Tell her everything. Oh, I'm glad Willow was like telling her how she feels and not just repressing those feelings. Uh, it's bad. Uh, I'm bad. I'm a bad, bad, bad person. No, not even a little bit true. I know I've kept things from you before, but... Oh, look at that. Faith's already here. And I'm guessing she said that Buffy did it. Ah! You told him? I had to. He had to know what you did. Ah! I knew it! I knew she was gonna turn. Backed into a corner. Yeah, come on, Giles. I wanna hear it, Buffy. Giles, you can't believe her! You have to- No! I hate when I'm right. Oh my god, get out of there, you traitor. Take a walk. Um, sorry. Yeah, right, kick rocks. I swear. Look, I know that I messed up badly, but the murder, it, it Faith, was- Faith, I know. Okay, good. Thank God, my heart. I was like, he has to know that it wasn't her. She may have many talents, Buffy, but fortunately lying is not one of them. And I hope Giles would know Buffy better than that to think she'd be capable of something like that. Front line of a nightly war. I mean, it's, it's tragic, but accidents have happened. I don't think Faith sees it as an accident. It meets out punishment if punishment is due, but I, I have no plan to involve them. Oh, he's not going to tell them. Oh, okay. Of course. And this is extremely delicate. Oh, Wesley! You little sneak. Frick! He's gonna be the by the book. He's gonna tell the council for sure. I mean, of, of all of us, you're the one person, arguably, that Faith has had the least contact with. That you know of. Recently, and she seemed to be, um, responsive. <laughs> Willow's figuring it out. Yeah, she put it together. Gave her a ride home. And you guys talked? With your bodies. Disappointment stops by. I was like, man, if Faith is just, is she really this heartless? Oh, it's Willow. I thought it was going to be Faith crying in the bathroom, but it's Willow. Because Xander slept with Cordelia. Oh, I mean, Xander slept with Faith. Oh, man, that was Freudian. Whew. When I don't get what I want. Yeah, because even though Willow and Oz are back together. I don't think they've gone that far. Got me there. Pretty much not gonna try to take you under any circumstances. Well, like, thank God for that. Just get that out of the way. Noodle to you, huh? Five minutes. That's all I need. For talking. And in conversation. Hello. Quick as a bunny. <laughs> Awkward as always. She's the one who killed a guy. Yeah, I heard that. She's just putting all the blame on Buffy. Like a wild thing, and half the time, you don't know what you're doing. And you're living proof of that, aren't you? Hello. It was more than that. I could do anything to you right now and you want me to. No. He said no. I gotta keep dying. What? Oh my god, she's choking him. What's happening? What's happening? She's lost it. She's lost her marbles, man. She's choking Xander. Oh, bonked her. Cheese and rice. I never thought I'd see the day where Angel would save Xander, but here we are. Yeah, it seemed like Xander had genuine- Decided to tie me up, huh? Was like genuinely trying to, you know, be there for her. The thing with Xander, I know what it looked like, but we were just playing. For who? I'm not getting any older. Yeah, I feel like Faith clearly has a mistrust of people, and probably for a good reason, but then when she meets people who are genuinely trying to help her, it makes it very difficult. She does. She just doesn't know how to say it. Maybe she killed a man. It changes everything for her. Yes, exactly. She's taken a life. I know. She's got a taste for it now. Oh, God. Now she's gonna become more violent? If you can trust us, Faith. It's gonna all change. Yeah, I feel like Faith's like given up on humanity and doesn't trust anybody and no matter how, you know, good their intentions are. Oh god, no! Oh slapped him! Oh god! 
in removing you to England when you had accepted judgment. Whoa, 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 whoa! They just beat the crap out of Angel and then arrested Faith. Ah! This is not gonna help with her trust issues, that's for sure. She's gonna become more and more angry. No, none of that. Tighten her restraints. Faith, there's no point in fighting this. Oh, right in the bits. Oh! Don't even think about it. He does not seem like one for confrontation. Wrong again, Wes! Oh, God! Bye! Trust us. Just kidding. We're gonna send someone after you to uh, arrest you and take you away. Why don't you go to her motel, Xander, Willow, her haunts, and be careful. Try the airport. Yeah, Wesley 100% just made things so much worse. Yeah, I feel like Faith's probably been running scared most of her life, and now this is definitely not helping. Yeah, and she's told Buffy before that she'll just get on a boat and leave. And I feel like we saw a similar plan when, isn't this where Angel gave Buffy that ring? That's not what bothers you so much. What bugs you is you know I'm right. You know in your gut. We don't need the law. We are the law. No, Buffy doesn't think she's above the law. It was good, wasn't it? The sex, the danger. At a party we even dug him when he went psycho. Not even a little bit. Robert, aren't you, B? You can't handle watching me live in my own way, having a blast because it tempts you. You know it could be you. Oh! I don't think Faith is having as much fun as she wants the people to believe. I'm not gonna do this. Why not? Feels good. Blood rising. Oh god, look out! Oh no! Oh god, no, Buffy! Oh my god! Ah! Oh! Yeah, Buffy, give him the chops! Come on! Oh my god, oh my god, no! I wanna go back. Oh no. Oh yes. No, this is no good at all. Bye! Oh, Faith killed Mr. Trick. Oh, cheese and rice, that was too close. Give up on her. Then I think she stands a chance. Yeah, Buffy's a good friend. Aww. Okay, well, the mayor's on his own now. Mr. Trick's gone. I. I guess that means you have a job opening. What? What? Faith wants to work with the mayor? Come on. She's gone to the dark side. She's corrupt. Ah! No. So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three, episode 15. It wasn't a two part episode, but it definitely continued the Buffy and Faith storyline that we saw in the previous episode, which I'm glad they did. I know sometimes when big things happen and they take a couple episodes off and kind of go back to that monster of the week scenario and then pick up with the actual continuing storyline. So it was nice to see them just get right back into it. I'm glad they explored Faith's character a little bit more and Buffy just being the good friend that she is was not going to give up on Faith and was trying to get Faith to open up even after Faith betrays her and goes tells Giles that Buffy's the one who killed Alan even though Giles doesn't believe her which thank god I was worried for a second there that Giles was going to believe Faith and luckily Giles knows Buffy well enough to know that that's not something she would do and even when as soon as she gets there to talk to him about it you know Faith comes out from behind the corner and it was just like oh my god just such a painful moment and I kind of feel bad for Faith in a way just because I feel like she's had to learn this like survival skills her whole life and this flight or fight scenario so she's thinking oh I'll go turn Buffy in before Buffy has a chance to turn me in so obviously not the best way to deal with things and I feel like it was more out of survival than a way to screw Buffy over but again it's hard to say with the ending when she shows up at the mayor's office and is now saying okay let's work together so yeah I'm very curious to see what the next episode is going to be like whether Faith has some master plan and is hoping to get close to the mayor to take him out and you know keep your enemies close situation or if she genuinely wants to see Sunnydale burn to the ground basically and is gonna team up with the mayor and maybe the mayor has the same mentality as Faith where it's like I see something I take it I want it I don't care about the consequences the world is mine basically I can do whatever I want the rules don't apply to me 
Whereas Buffy is more, you know, follows the rules as much as she can being a vampire slayer. And Buffy tries to help people and stick up for her friends. And she would never betray Faith like this. And even when Buffy is questioned by the police, she doesn't turn Faith in, you know. She had an opportunity to do it, but she chose not to because she wants to protect her friend. And I just found it so funny how this is the one time the Sunnydale police decide to investigate something. It's always when Buffy is on the line. We did see something similar with John Ritter's character when he was the robot dad character from a season ago when the police showed up after they thought she had killed him and when the detectives like we found a man dead with a stake and I guess normally they disappear into dust so there is no actual bodies lying around but there's definitely weird things that happen in Sunnydale all the time the students alone like the amount of minors that are injured you know underage youth that are injured in the show that they're never investigated like I, I know for the sake of drama and adding to the show, they wanted the police pressure to be there and this, you know, extra added element of drama. So I can see why they made that choice, but it was just, as a viewer, it was funny. I've seen so many things happen in the show and this is the one thing they show up for and decide to investigate. And we know Buffy put her hand on Alan's blood to try and stop the bleeding. So there's going to be evidence of her at that crime scene for sure. But will they believe Buffy's story? I'm very curious to see if the police will continue to investigate in the next episode if Buffy will in fact turn on Faith if she finds out Faith is working for the mayor. Faith killed Mr. Trick in this episode which I wasn't expecting. I thought he would be here till the season finale and obviously was working with the mayor but now that that's done and it was interesting how Faith killed him and is now taking his job. Faith was in complete denial that she was the one who killed this person. She's like Buffy did it. She did the accidental murder. It wasn't me. She's just completely blocked out of her mind. Is not processing it. Is putting all the blame on Buffy and I definitely feel like that's a coping mechanism. She doesn't want to deal with this horrible thing, obviously. And I feel like that's what's caused Faith to tip the scales and just go so aggressive. And even when she attacks Xander and Xander shows up and seemed like he was being genuine and wanted to actually talk to her and was trying to be a friend and... Faith laughs in his face saying, oh, we didn't have a connection. And then she starts choking Xander and luckily Angel was there to save Xander. I can't even imagine what would have happened if Faith would have killed Xander. Like, who's she going to blame that on? And honestly, it just would have been... Yeah, I can't even think about that because it would have just must changed the whole plot of the show, basically. We've always known Faith has kind of been like wild and, you know, a little bit of a rebel. And I think before it was she had a limit but now it doesn't seem like there's a limit at all even when she's like taunting Buffy and Buffy's trying to you know be like hey I'm here if you want to talk and like let's figure this out like I was there like I know what you're going through I'm a slayer too and Faith just shuts down built so many walls up like even Angel was saying like oh I get more talking to a wall basically I'm glad Angel is back helping the gang and we saw that in the last episode as well and even when he ties up Faith, you know, he's still trying to talk to her and say like, hey, like, I had my soul taken away, like, I did some things I'm not proud of, and it wasn't until I met Buffy and came to Sunnydale, basically, that I had people in my life that I knew I cared about and that cared about me. May or may not be before, you know, everything with Miss Calendar, but even him and Buffy are still hanging out, so I feel like that helped restore his faith in humanity and helped trust people again, because obviously he had hundreds and hundreds of years of being the worst and doing whatever he wanted with you know he didn't care about it so I feel like he was trying to relate to Faith in that way. I don't think Faith can see that Buffy is trying to be there for her or she doesn't want to accept it. I feel like Faith has just stop trusting people so long ago and just put up so many barriers and it's just on the defensive 24 7 that I don't know if anybody can actually get in and be able to talk to her or what that's gonna look like or what's gonna happen in order for her to finally you know show some genuine feelings as opposed to just putting up this front like slang's the best it's so much fun like I'm sure she enjoys it, but I feel like she also hypes it up to make herself feel better that this is the best. I have the best life. Like, it feels like she's overcompensating. So, yeah, I really hope they can get through to her because I really do like her character. I don't like the route she's going on this episode, obviously, or the episode before. I feel like Buffy relies on her as another slayer. And if Buffy wants to graduate and leave, is she going to be able to leave with Faith being in this horrible situation and not processing these things? Or if Faith just going around killing humans and vampires, I can't see Buffy leaving town then either. So I'm very curious to see what Faith's intentions are with the mayor, if it's going to be purely for destruction or if she has other motives to try and figure out more about the mayor's plan and then report back to Buffy and Giles. The new watcher was in this episode as well and 
Of course, he follows everything by the books and he decides to call the council and tell them what Faith did, which we find out is the protocol and when he apprehends Faith, but of course she's able to get out of it. I don't think this new Watcher likes confrontation, so I'm curious to see if he'll be involved in these kind of things going forward as he's only been in town a few days and has had a very interesting uh, experience so far. So. Faith was obviously able to get away. Giles and Buffy and Willow found out that Xander and Faith had slept together and I felt so bad for Willow, just that look on her face. And I feel like she always thought her first time would be with Xander. And we saw something similar in that love potion episode when she's in Xander's room and is, you know, expressing her feelings towards him. So I think she was just crushed and you see her crying and even though she's with Oz now obviously I think she still has some feelings for Xander and probably always will. I feel like Xander is her first big crush, her first love. It was nice to see Buffy and Willow finally have a chance to talk and Buffy shows up and it's so nice to see Willow also standing up for herself and telling Buffy hey like the way you're treating me is not okay and I'm not happy with it and then Buffy breaks down and tells Willow everything that's been happening. They start talking like best friends again and Willow is there for Buffy and is just able to help her and I think that's what Buffy needs is she needs her best friend and I feel bad that Willow felt on the out so I'm glad they were able to reconnect and hopefully Buffy won't push Willow away and will keep her involved and just I hope Willow knows she can never compare to Faith like I hope she feels like her and Buffy's relationship is something different even though Willow's not a slayer I still feel like she's such a huge part of Buffy's life and Faith is still relatively new to the game like Willow's been there for Buffy since day one. We did see Faith save Buffy at the end when she kills Mr. Trick and Buffy was right she could have just left her there and gone on her way and that would have been the end of Buffy so I feel like Faith does care about Buffy whether she wants to admit it or not I feel like Faith is just used to leaving people behind and not thinking about it and just building up these barriers and I feel like this might be the first time that she's actually had someone to call a friend like and I hope that's with Buffy them especially them both being slayers I feel like Faith and Buffy are very different but also have lots of similarities and just the way that Faith was talking about slaying and I think Buffy was kind of taking that in and trying to process okay is this actually who you are or are you just putting up this front so yeah this episode was definitely very focused on obviously Buffy and Faith's relationship so I'm very curious to see what's going to happen in the next few episodes especially as we get close to the season finale I really hope Faith doesn't betray everybody and go fully to the dark side even Angel was saying oh um, Faith's got a taste for killing now like she's done it once and she's enjoyed it and I don't know if I fully believe that it's hard to tell because Faith puts up such a front all the time so it would be nice to see the real faith and to see some of her actual you know genuine emotions and for her to be a little bit vulnerable we did see faith apologize for killing in this episode but it was kind of like okay i'm sorry like it didn't seem overly genuine like it doesn't really seem like she's showing remorse for it still so I don't know if she said that just because it's what Buffy wanted to hear or if she actually feels that way it's hard for me to think that Faith is just truly evil and only cares about killing people and even though she has obviously gotten more and more reckless since she killed this guy I hope they can still bring her back and try and salvage some kind of friendship with her before she does something that's unforgivable basically. Overall I enjoyed the episode. I'm very curious to see what this Faith working with the mayor situation is going to be like. Uh, Mr. Trick died and then we saw Buffy and Willow patch things up as well which was great. I really hope Faith doesn't go on a rampage and we saw her attack Xander so who knows if she tries to take out anybody else in the Scooby gang if she's just shown complete disregard for these people. We saw saw Faith betray Buffy once so I really hope she doesn't try and do it again with somebody who doesn't know Buffy and is going to take Faith's word for it. Luckily Giles knows Buffy well enough to know that Faith was lying. I hope Faith doesn't reach a point of no return and I feel like right now she thinks she is untouchable. She can do whatever she wants. There's no consequences to her and I feel like the only way to reset that mindset is to have something terrible happen to you to realize that you can also be killed so I really hope something horrible doesn't happen and making me very nervous to see her on this path of destruction um, but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content
Her little sheep pajamas, so cute. He's gonna be the by the book. He's gonna tell the council for sure. Trust us, just kidding. We're gonna send someone after you to uh, arrest you and take you away. He wants to work with the mayor? Come on. She's gone to the dark side. I hate when I'm right. Oh my God, get out of there, you traitor. She did put her hand on him to stop the bleeding. 